We didn't come to for the gender. We came to eat, ain't it? God damn it. Trump dummy. Isn't this lovely? Starting a vlog on a Wednesday. Kudos to you, Court. What's up, bruh? I mean, what's really good? I am finally done. I just finished filming my last video of the day. Well, my only video for the day. I was gonna film another video, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and starve myself. I done been going hard in the paint all week. So I think that was my last for the week. Your girl is done, finished. Um, I could probably sneak in one more video, but I don't have the energy for it. So I'ma just, I'ma just let it go. I woke up this morning really early because I wanted to make sure I got some content done. I did a YouTube video and I took two Instagram photos. You guys may see only one by the time this vlog goes up. I'm not sure I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up posting both, but I've been trying to get in the habit of, trying to get in the habit of every time I do a YouTube video to double back and make sure I'm able to do um, some Instagram content. That's a very nice car. Is that a Tesla? This is my first time eating today. I don't know if I want Chinese. Chinese gonna take too long though, bro. Like I ain't got time. Or do I wanna just go into Walmart and grab something I can heat up. Cause I think I'm gonna have to like hardcore edit because I wanna edit my luxury with this video today and I wanna have it up by today. And it is 2.35, 2.45, 2 something. It's almost three o'clock now. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support and just positive anything that I got from my last vlog. Y'all, y'all are lit. I love doing vlogs because they're they're just laid back. They're not, you know, all woo woo ha, ha. They're not like real, you know, structured. And y'all know I hate structure. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm just literally driving and talking. Like I'm driving away to Walmart, but I don't think I even want to go in because I don't feel like being seen today. Like I look cute and all, but I just don't feel like being seen. And like I don't feel like being bothered. I don't feel like really having to speak to nobody. And I'm the type that if I see you in a store, I'm going to speak. Even if I don't want to because that's just the polite thing to do. Especially with older people. They're going to want to stop. It's how your mama doing, your daddy doing. They're going to want to talk for at least a good 15, 10, 15 minutes. And I ain't got time for that, Miss Sally. Like, I got to go home. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I got to go. I mean, I yeah, McDonald's it is. I ain't got time. Uh -huh. I done switched lanes like a duck on y'all. Juicy and perfection. Babe, I'm going to get everything. That's how, that's how hungry I am today. I'm finna order everything. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. How can I help you? Yes, can I have a Big Mac meal, please? Medium or large? Medium. What's your drink? Um, can I have Sprite, please? Okay. And can I also have a cinnamon roll? Okay. And that'll be all. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, I'm just sitting scrolling on Instagram. I'm gonna come back to y'all once I got my food. Yeah. Y'all, I had to took a nap, girl. It is 6.27. When I talked to y'all, I want to say it was almost 3 o'clock. My camera batteries <clears throat> are acting a butt right now. My cousin just woke me up. I got his blanket on because I ain't got no shirt on, y'all. And I refuse to put one on, so let me just cover myself up. <laughs> my cousin Isaiah just woke me up. We was on FaceTime for like... A good 45 minutes to an hour. We made plans to go to the city tomorrow to do a little bit of shopping, which I don't need to do. I'm doing that way too often lately. I'm trying to save up for something. I can't be spending all this money. But since he pulling my leg, I guess I'll go. Just kidding. No, I haven't spun, spent much time with him lately, so I need to go catch up with my baby. But I did get a package, y'all. I have an idea what this is, and baby, I hope this is what I think it is, girl. I know it's probably from Allie. Makeup look oily as heck. I know you lied. Oh, this is my bracelet. Woo, I was gonna say, I want my money back. Girl, so y'all remember I've been ranting and raving, raving and ranting 
about the Louis Vuitton, about the Louis Vuitton locket necklace, right? I ordered a, an inspired necklace. And I think this is a necklace because it feels really heavy. So, oh, and you know what? Oh, we may, we may be on to something, y'all. We may be on to something tonight. Uh oh, that's the key. Can't lose the key. And I got a locket necklace. Oh, oh, oh. This is the locket and this is the necklace. The locket does come with a key. I have 50 million Louis Vuitton lockets. Now, do I go get the locket and put it on this? Or do I wait because tomorrow I go to um the mall? But I'm not sure if I want to wait and get like a actual like, you know, heavy quality, heavy duty necklace to put it on. Or do I want to make do with this because nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with this at all. Let's take this off. Does it come off? Come on now. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna keep her just in case because you never know what I may be able to use her for. So we'll put her and the key back inside the paper. I got to find this locket, y'all. I don't know where I put it. The last time I remember, I remember putting it in this thing right here. Did I, where did I put that? That packet at? Did I put it in here? Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. We in there, and it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yes, oh yes, we put it on. This looks so freaking good. I'm gonna link the actual chain down below, but I know for a fact you can buy, you can buy the padlocks on Etsy. Y'all not gonna be able to stand me, do you hear me? I'm wearing sis tomorrow. Now I've got to find a look. This is too cute. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me open up these windows. Oh, today feels so good. Told y'all today is like considered my off day. So, look at my wig and slid back, child. Today's considered my off day. So, I woke up at my regular time, which was like around six, because my, my alarm is already set. So, I kept, um, I kept redoing my alarm <sighs> so that I could sleep a little bit longer. But after a while, my body was like, court, just go ahead and get up. Like, just, just get up, bro. I'm finally up. And it is almost nine o'clock. Like I said, I don't have anything to do. Well, I have some things I could do, but I don't have to do them. Like I told y'all last night, I am going to the city today with Isaiah. Oh, did I drop my breakfast? Drop my little yogurt on the flow, child. I do want to get a few things done. Mm. Why is my camera dying? Uh, oh my gosh, like, y'all, I don't know what's been going on, but my batteries for my Sony A5100 have been doing complete trash flips. Like, girl, I can charge one of my batteries all day, all day, and it will literally be on 33%, like right now. Like, that's so frustrating. Like, I wanna sit here and eat breakfast with y'all, but I can't. I mean, I can't, I can do it on my phone. So yeah, let me just switch to my phone because I wanna to talk to y'all. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let me tighten up my robe so y'all can't see me. Pull up on me. Pull up uh, 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 on me. I like how that felt in my last vlog, so now we're gonna start doing that as a thing. Y'all gotta have breakfast with me. For my breakfast, once again, I had, I did have this yesterday on my stories, if y'all do follow me on Instagram, but I think I had the peach one. So Bonnie Greek yogurt blueberry it was actually good i'm not really like a greek yogurt type of girl because it is disgusting and i just got me some water this cup is the cup my sister got made for me for christmas and this cup was actually handmade um it's from somebody locally in my town but they do have an etsy shop and a facebook shop so i will leave the information down below so you guys can get at them about getting you a cup i love this cup mm. oh actually good i've been moving stuff around y'all when i say i've been moving stuff around i done been moving stuff around in my beauty room of course i know y'all probably have already saw my new little setup that i have in my beauty room i love it it's still some things i can tweak now i got more space in there and me and my toxic mind since i know i got more space i want to fill it up with a bunch of junk so now i got like junk and paper 
and wig boxes and stuff thrown everywhere. And I've been doing like clothing hauls back to back. I went to sleep pretty late because Kaylee FaceTimed me. I plan on being up late anyways because I was finished watching Aaliyah's face vlog. But when she called me, it kind of put the vlog on hold because I couldn't listen to her and watch the vlog at the same time. So me and her are going to phone until like around maybe one or two. I want to try and get a picture today. Am I stuttering? Am I slurring my words? What? For it? If y'all don't know by now, I stutter. Like, like bad. I stutter really bad. Especially when I get excited. Well, y'all may not know because when I edit my videos, I kind of try to cut and skip those parts out. Y'all, I be so creepy because there be people walking up and down the sidewalk outside my house. All the people that want to exercise and stuff and walk their dogs and stuff walk down, you know, my sidewalk in the back part of the house. It be this old lady with like a garbage bag suit every morning and she be walking she doing better than me <laughs> I feel like I always come to y'all rushing when I'm doing the outfit of the day. Let me hurry and do this real quick because he's texting me. I gotta go pick him up. So let's get into it. Boom. All right. He ended up having to change our outfit because the pants that I ended up getting, um, I got them in a size small, forgetting that they're not stretchy. Girl, I don't know why I be thinking I'm skinny. So they wouldn't even come up my freaking thigh. So I'm gonna have to return those and get a size medium if I can even find them again. But whatever, we move. I'm wearing my um off white bodysuit that I got from Pretty Little Thing. My cream sweatpants that I got from Shein. My Yeezys, y'all know how I do. My rings from AliExpress. My necklace, which I am in love with. She is so cute and I'm wearing my earrings that I got from Forever 21 and my haul. And I'm taking this bag right here. I gotta switch my purse. My other purse is still in my car, unfortunately. I forgot I left it in there. So let's go ahead and do our fragrance. I forgot to show y'all that I redid my whole little fragrance bar. And I've moved that shelf from out of my beauty room and put it in here. So it's really, really lit. Like, I love how this looks. For my fragrance, I want to show y'all this one. This is supposed to be a Baccarat dupe. And baby girl, this smells just like Baccarat. It's called Pacaraca Red. I got this from Perfumania um, also. And I picked up this one. This is the Dior Hypnotic Poison. I picked up both of these. So today I'm going to go for this one because I want to smell a little bit, you know, fancy if you will and I want to say this may have cost me $25 so it was very inexpensive let me go get in the car because I know he is probably going off on me honey I didn't know shoot I knew he was taking my car but I didn't know he wanted me to come pick him up I thought he was going to leave his truck over here He got to use the bathroom. So now I'm just sitting. Oh, girl, I'm my wig lifting up. I'm just sitting out here in the waiting area. Oh, now he want to come out of the bathroom. Hey, you ready to go, boy? You lit over here. People looking crazy with me and this camera, but I don't even care. I thought they were going to look back. <laughs> what? Who oh, took your mask off? We ride up by the machine, but you can't see me. Boy, it's in the air. Man, listen, that man's name, that man's name, um, protect Ned. <laughs> you can see the smell. If you, can, if you can't blow out your mask, then you're good. Blow out your mask. Can you feel it? No? I'm only thing around, I'm about six feet. We don't even know where we're going. Where are you walking to, Pandora? No, um, we're going to get you number first. That's downstairs, I guess. Uh, no. Oh God, he don't know where the heck he's going. 
Yeah. <laughs> These are going over here, so. Boy. Shoulder kicks. Shoulder kicks. Let me see the shoes. Ooh. It sounds like you ain't ready too much. Daniel, <laughs> back at it again. <laughs> back at it again. <laughs> he ran over here talking about some shoes, but I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Courtney How B. do you not know my YouTube channel? How dare you? Chanel B. Isaiah, really? And you supposed to be family, it's nigga. Girls. I don't watch that. Great value version of a Hooters. It's better than Hooters. I'm walking here. It's better than Hooters. Than Hooters. Than Hooters. Than Hooters. You worry about. You worry about people that were short. You no, I feel food. awkward in here. Worry about the food. How you feel awkward? But ain't nobody got no clothes on. The two girls they had clothes on. And we just saying that. Look, they got clothes on now. The majority I see in here is a bunch of men. We didn't come to, for the gender. We okay. came to eat, ain't it? God damn it. I'm gonna show you why I heard about who it is. I'm ready to eat, but. This man. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. We get it, we get it. You done been here before, what's good here? Everything, everything good. It's a selfish stick over here. My boy back there got three on. I'm telling you. All right, no clap. That boy done it! Don't like a good idea. Cause if I grab that with this, it's gonna fall, and it's still hot. I'm too clumsy for that. Mm -mm. What I just made was my favorite drink. I tell y'all all the time how I live in a small town and I'm whispering because it's almost 11 o'clock and everybody is in their little nest holes and they going to sleep. And I'm a little night owl, so I don't wanna be too loud because they gotta get up and go to work in the morning. We do not have a Starbucks here. So by me being in a small town, I've learned how to adapt, okay? And my own little concoctions to things that I probably could find at Starbucks. This is a green tea guava lemonade. Now I don't know if they have anything like that at Starbucks or what, but this just gives me Starbucks refresher vibes, especially when it gets really, really cold. First thing I did was make my lemonade, and with my lemonade, I just use any type of lemon juice and sugar. Just so y'all know, I use the Iberia 100% lemon juice from Concentrate. I use this in um, some water. 
pour some water in the cup first, pour this in there to my liking until the water looked yellow and then I just Kool-Aid dunked all that sugar in there. Yes, I did. Stirred it up, boom, taste tested. It was sweet, smackalicious. Make you smack your lips. Add like a couple of splashes of the guava. Normally I get the guava nectar. This is just a pink guava juice by Azul. Then I took my Somerset Tea Company Green Tea. I got this from Save A Lot. I don't know if y'all have a Save A Lot where you're at, but we have a Save A Lot because we don't have like a Publix or anything like that. And so I put that inside the mixture that I made, put it in there, and I, and I cooked the microwave on beverage. I don't know how long that is, but enough to steep the tea. Pack my ice in there, and my ice cubes have to be even. And then you have yourself a small town refresher. Cheers. <laughs> I typically make this drink when I'm wanting more so um, just chill and vibe out because it's been a long, long day. I did about freaking killed me, gave me whiplash, sore throat, and I don't know how that's possible. Uh, stop, Cookie. Stop, to Bind your butt. I know it's your butt, but stop biting. He drives so freakishly fast, bro. Like, he makes me so nervous. I should have known when he called. Let me try the jet. You knew what you was going to do to me when you asked me that. Where is my... Where is my um selfie stick? I don't like holding this camera so close to my face. When I got home, um, my dad told me that... Um, I guess I'm guessing that the TV people came in and gave me like a little box. Turns out we have been paying for a box and voice activated remotes for like at least a year straight. But never got the voice activated remotes. So finally, our internet is fixed. I ain't gotta keep going from house to house, pitching the pole to use somebody's internet, Wi-Fi, whatever, to upload videos and everything or edit. So now I have two remotes. Um, if y'all do not know, I don't watch TV. I don't, I haven't watched TV in years. It's just personal preference. The most I do is watch YouTube and if I get in the mood, I'll watch some Netflix. Um, but tonight, I don't feel like watching YouTube, which is very weird to even say. I honestly want to watch my favorite show, which is in fact, um, Sanford and Son. Y'all do not know what Sanford and Son is. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't know what Sanford and Son is, but my dad like raised me up on Red Fox. I've just grown to love Sanford and Son. I literally know every single episode. Like it's no exaggeration. You put me on a game show for a hundred million dollars, I'm gonna be balling. Period. I literally know every word for word, every episode, every every line. And that's only because, this is so off topic, but it's just a little fun fact about me. I've always been up under my dad. Like ever since I was a little girl, I've always been like a daddy's girl. So whatever habits he had, whatever things he was into, I was always into. So as a young child, as a young girl, I can remember being in first grade. Um, I would sit at home and watch um, Sam and Son with him while doing my homework. I remember it being one day I came home from school and he had a VHS, a VHS tape full of the Sanford and Son marathon that came on TV land. Girl, I thought I had hit the jackpot. It had every episode known to man. I would literally watch that same VCR tape every single day, every day of first grade. And that's honestly how I memorized every single episode from when I was in first grade. <laughs> every time I tell somebody that, they don't believe me until I actually show them that I know every episode and they're just so shocked. Told y'all, I'm really an old soul. I feel like when I watch Sanford and Son or Red Fox in general, it just takes me back to being a little girl. It's just nostalgic. So to kind of wind down, this is what I do. Make myself some tea. I did light um, a candle. Oh, I don't think I showed y'all my candles if if i didn't show y'all i'll insert the clip right here of me unboxing it because today i i received it in the mail i did record it i did pick up my camera because i didn't want y'all to see i'm gonna put the footage in right now ooh, 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 ooh. all right Ugh. first things first don't judge how i'm looking right now it's actually i think 10 o'clock in the morning i done been up trying to straighten up this room i'm redoing some things in the room hence why y'all see a new little shelf back here so i have three packages um one actually i have four Let's first start with this one. I know what this is from. This is from a skincare company called Gleeman. Um, they contacted me to test out their product. This is how the packaging looks. This is really cute. The packaging is very cost efficient. Hey girl, we get a little goodies. Instantly enhances skin for a luminous bare face glow. Stain free and formulated to work with all skin types. We gonna see, hun. This is a little jar honey i like this and this has some weight to it this is cute this is from michelle sheree candle co 
Oh, these are my P.O. Box items. Oh, thank you, Michelle Cherie Candle Cold. Girl, you done sent me. Girl, sis is a Floridian. You from Miami or whatever. What's good? Girl, you sent me a P.O. You sent me a candle, girl. Oh, you know we burn this tonight, right? We got sus open. Oh, this is cute, girl. Thank you for shopping with us. Our definition of hand poured candles. Wax Danny simply means that each candle wax Danny is made with love and with you in mind. Uh -oh. Feel like I was opening the little um the little biscuits, girl. I can smell it outside the darn. Ooh. And girl, you make the lid white. You knew what we liked. And the name of this candle is Date Night. Girl, hand poured in Miami. The notes of spice, teakwood, and dark mud. Okay, so this is a very sexy scent. Oh, girl. Why you did this? Why did you do this to me? It, it's masculine, but it still smells so feminine at once. Like, oh my gosh, girl, this smells so freaking good. I love this candles especially aesthetic candles like this this goes perfectly on my dresser thank you michelle you did your thing with this girl this smells so freaking good i got more goodies down in here it's this little pouch with like these cards in it and a little bit of an oil in the back oh girl this little dropper has i'm guessing a fragrance oil in it and it's called the one is this like a body oil or like a whatever this is let me look this up because whatever this is i need this right now this smells so good if this was like a body spray or a body oil huh also oh she left me a note i'm not gonna read it to y'all i want it to be special i know y'all may hear a lot of influencers youtubers um say like how you know messages like this impact them or how things like this just mean a lot to them but i cannot stress this enough how much simple things like this mean the world to me this girl gave me a whole candle set even though i have those luxury gifts this means the most to me this is something that i can have forever this is gonna burn out you know what I'm saying? This is gonna just be here for a moment. It's gonna burn. I'm gonna burn this to death. Y'all, it's, it's been so many times where I sometimes feel like I may not be in the right place. That I feel like, okay, what I'm doing does not matter. I'm not touching anyone. I'm not reaching anyone. But then it's messages like this. It's DMs like this. It's emails like this that make me, that, that let me know, gives me confirmation and assurance that I'm right where God wants me to be. You know what I'm saying? I've been blessed to be able to build and attract a community such as you guys. And y'all are lit. Like, it's crazy because energy, the energy that you give, you get back. I'm a strong believer in that. I'm a strong believer in energy. Whatever you give out, you're going to get back, okay? That's just how things work. I try my best to bring positivity and radiate my true self through every video that I do and it's crazy because when I'm interacting with y'all I feel like I'm talking to myself you guys are just like me in in more ways than one and I think that's so crazy because I've never seen you guys face to face it's always over a screen but yet I feel so connected to you Michelle I feel really connected to you right now girl like I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart I don't know if anybody told you lately but keep doing your thing with this girl just your spirit your heart in this letter just shows me that you have a vision first of all anytime a young black woman woman has a vision you know what i'm saying that's a blessing in itself this is just special to me and i really appreciate it i really do if i have not contacted you by now i will girl because if you got more of these <laughs> i need all that i know what this is i i know what this is i know what to expect honey if you guys do not follow me on instagram or, or you guys are new to my channel i recently discovered a brand called sugar goddess I found it independently. They didn't reach out to me. I was just scrolling on Instagram one day and just happened to find um, a black owned skincare body scrub, body butter company. I fell in love with the aesthetic. I fell in love with the owner, even though I didn't even know her then. I fell in love with her IG lives, her, her stories and I don't know, I just I just fell in love with everything that the brand stood behind. Recently, I've been finding some great, great brands through Instagram, and this has happened to be one of them. Now, I did a video. If you guys have not seen the video, I will link it down below. I did a monthly favorites video, and I featured Sugar Goddess product, which I love. Stand behind 110%, honey. This is a package from Sugar Goddess. This was sent to me, because if you guys do not know, she was so sweet. She ended up partnering up with me to make me one of her brand ambassadors. So this is my first brand ambassador package 
I'm a brand ambassador. Who does that in a bonnet or in a silk wrap? Like, who does that with no bra in a silk bonnet? Like, I'm trying to understand. Oh, I right. first, your girl sent me a brand new. Brand new. Now, I already got this, but this is brand new. Brand new cuffing season set. She gave me the cuffing season honey and vanilla sugar whipped body scrub and whipped body butter. And then inside, I have my package. <laughs> We got an oil. I'm finna smell like a snack. Now I done bathed already. Now I wanna bathe again. But this is the cuffing season. Apply after a shower or a bath. Or apply as needed to add moisture and glow to skin. Let me smell her. Ashley. Ashley. Girl, why is you why is you over there just sitting at home making goodness like this? Like, why are you doing that? Who gave you permission? How dare you? And this is the box that she sent me. I want to get a picture. But yeah, once again, thank you, Michelle Cherie, for my candle set. Girl, you got a room smelling like a nice man for Valentine's Day, even though it's just me. But yeah, y'all definitely check her out. This candle smells amazing. Like, it literally smells just like a dude, but in a good way. You know, the good parts of the guy. Not like smelly socks and dirty underwear and, you know, you know, the good aspects of those of those kinds. So I'm gonna um, drink the rest of my tea, watch my show until I get sleepy, and then <sighs> I'ma see y'all in the morning. Good morning, sugar boogers. Today is Friday. It is exactly nine o'clock, I think, because my timer just went off. It is exactly nine o'clock in the morning. I've been up for like an hour and a half. I couldn't really go back to sleep. Um, my aunt just brought me some breakfast from McDonald's, which was a blessing because I woke up thinking about some food. Like, I, I was hungry. So she woke me up and told me that she left the center for me. I was too hyped. So I'm heating it up now because it's a little bit warm. I did leap in here for a little bit. Pancakes and sausage. Poured myself a cup of cold water. Um, I did cut on my computer. I have a little bit of editing to do. I want to get this video up by today. This is my luxury wish list video and I really think you guys are going to enjoy this. I do have pancakes and one sausage. I want to get an um, boomerang first. I'm trying to be aesthetically pleasing hold it let me put some of this let me see how hey i did it i just gotta zoom it in some okay made me a cute little thingy now i gotta zoom in some so you can't see no black all right let's slow it down <laughs> we got a little cute little breakfast all right let me take my first bite because i'm hungry i be real life watching mukbangs like they be so satisfying to me like i just love a good mukbang if y'all like mukbangs let me know because I be wanting to do some, but I don't know what type of audience <laughs> that would draw. Because y'all know I like to eat. I eat all the time.
good morning you guys today is saturday saturday the 14th that means tomorrow is valentine's day i'm so excited i'm so excited about tomorrow being valentine's day since tomorrow is the day of love and all about self-care self-love and just you know doing what feels good for yourself. Today, I want to get everything prepared. I wanna get everything clean, everything cleaned out. A clean space is the top thing in my book that makes me feel at my best and at the most peace. Today, I'm going to focus on cleaning up my areas, which is my room, my bathroom, and my studio. I do have a little bit of a lot to do today. I do like to write my things down. I'm a heavy journaler. I love lists. I love to-do lists. I love priority lists. I love to-do lists. I just love to write down my day so that way I can see it as I go and I can see where my progress is coming from. It wasn't until the owner of um, Dream Valley reached out to me and introduced me to her journal, which is the journal that I am writing in today. Just, just from the aesthetic alone. Just look at the aesthetic. This is pure gold. This is so cute. Y'all know I'm a very simple girl. Y'all know my aesthetic. Y'all know how we do around here. So before I even open the freaking book, like that's my toxic trait. I look at the cover before I judge the book. <laughs> There's the minimalistic aspect of it all. Y'all see me brag about this journal on my Instagram stories. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Girl, my wig lifting. She gives you words of inspiration and also best practices when you are journaling in this journal. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Here you have more bullets to write for your to-do list because, of course, during the day you have a lot to do. And at the bottom, which I love, you get to write your own daily affirmation. That is a plus. I feel like there's two types of journaling people or, like, to-do list people. That's, like, the people that can do it on their phone or through um, their computer. Or the people that do it through writing. I've always been a writer. Like, I've always loved to write. But, yeah, y'all, everything will be down below in the description box. A big thank you once again goes to Dream Valley. It is now currently... What time is it? It is 9.13 in the morning. I need to get up because my room isn't that junky. My room isn't really that messy. I just have some things misplaced, like on my dresser and stuff. And then my floor may have like a wig or two. And then my bed just has a bunch of purses and stuff that I was switching off and on yesterday getting ready to get my nails done. Y'all are going to clean my room with me. So let me get up and get to this room, girl. It is almost one o'clock. I done finally threw on a piece of some clothes and I'm still very much unsure on what I want to wear, girl. I done changed clothes about 15 times, hence why everything's on the bed. I'm tying down my frontal. Feel like I look a hot, funky mess, but we just wanna get our nails done, that's it. Maybe that's the whole thing that's throwing me off, like this shirt. That's definitely the problem. I got some new shades. Hopefully they're still available by the time I post this vlog. Let me put you guys up here. These are so freaking cute. They came in this little satin 
whatever type case. You cannot tell me these are not fly. These are so stinking cute. Now they're a little bit extra for my taste, but you know I'm still gonna rock them. I didn't know they were gonna be this, you know, bold in your face, but sus. You cannot tell me running to the grocery store, pumping your gas. You ready, ready. Let me fix my, fix myself, girl. My bra starts running back, you know I will do it. I need to pick my fragrance. I ain't picked this up in a long time. Well, matter of fact, I did pick this up lately. I don't know, but for some reason, um, Marc Jacobs Rain is like my everyday, just casual type of spray. But I want to smell kind of feminine today. Guess seductive, just seductive, not New York. You know the, you know the New York is black, so. Why y'all ain't tell me I still got these shades on in this house? All right, let me go ahead and grab this stuff so I can go ahead and get my day started. So, I'm gonna see y'all if we get in the car. in love with my nails I don't know if y'all can really y'all probably can't really even see them the Sun is going down this is how they came out and I love them so so much and she went off this is why I love to have this girl I should have asked for her name I never ask for her name whenever I do have her normally I have the owner which does a good job as well she is the best thing they have in this darn salon so I don't have anywhere else to go over here I ended up just getting white toes of course to match my nails um I don't really like getting designs on my toes besides like a French and I just got back into getting a darn French child I wasn't into French before but now I was just being I've been on like a little French <laughs> That was my first time using my horn. Oh, he tried me, and then he's still driving crazy. It's time to go home. This is not my city, this is not my town. We don't drive like this where I'm from. I got to go. The view on the way back from where I get my nails done at, it's nothing but like just open land and just trees and scattered houses, and I think this is just so beautiful. Like, I feel like I could live like this. I really could. People my age always laugh or pick at the fact that I'm a very simple, simple living, small type living type of girl. Like that's just always been me. I'm just a very chill person. If y'all know me, then y'all know that persona about me. Like that's just my vibe. That's just who I am as a person. Like, like the city and stuff is cool. It has its perks, don't get me wrong. I really much rather gas up my car, make it a trip, put my um pack me some bags and stay for a weekend or a week and like go off to those places anywhere i want to go visit anywhere on the world i would much rather go and visit and make it like a trip like a vacation but i know after a couple of days i'm going to want to come home because i like peace i like quiet see this house over here is just so beautiful me and my cousin were having that conversation um yesterday we were eating he's a city boy die hard like he's a city boy then again he's young he's a boy um he you know he likes to just get into things like i tell y'all all the time i'm an old soul like i don't want to go out every weekend i don't want to go to the club every other night i don't want to drink every night that's just not me so me sitting around maybe a campfire or something you know somewhere in the country just chilling and relaxing just vibing out with me and myself or even my family something simple like that that's the world to me. When people often ask me, do I see myself moving out of my hometown? The answer is honestly, no. <laughs> I would not want to do that. If something permitted me to, like a job opportunity, if an opportunity presented itself, such as like, you know, me moving up in my YouTube career, something of that nature that would benefit me financially and for the rest of my life, then yeah. If it's just me moving, it's because I want to be around city lights and the clubs and the bars and and the malls and everything. There has to be something for me where I'm going. My move has to be purposeful. Anything I do in life has to be purposeful. If the decision doesn't make sense for the long run, for what I want to make it make sense for, I'm not doing it. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna be a small town girl till I die, honey. And that's on period. Good morning.
pretty and happy Valentine's Day. Today's the 14th. Today's Valentine's Day. And Ball Greasy dropped like eight hours ago. So you know today is Payday 3. Y'all already know how we do. Listen, let me move this that way so y'all can fully see me. Y'all already know how we do when it comes to these vlogs. I guess it's like a thing now for us that I end the vlog and close out the vlog days later after the vlog is over. Baby, it's Thursday. Today's supposed to start the next weekly vlog, so I'm probably gonna start the next. I'm probably gonna start the vlog on a Friday because y'all, I've been so behind with stuff. Like, I told y'all I was gonna break during that vlog, and that vlog was taken last week, so I've been working this week. By the way, I look a hot mess. Like, I done been, I got lace lifting up. I done did my hair yesterday for a video, and it's still looking a hot mess, but don't, don't, just, just don't, don't pay this no attention, okay? I'm here for a reason. I got a message, I got something I got to say. I did spend my Valentine's Day with family, friends, special people in my life, um, so I did not really vlog because I take time with people very seriously. Valentine's Day is a day that you show your appreciation to the people that mean the most in your life, so I just thought that was a very intimate day, so I did not pick up the camera besides that morning. Because Valentine's Day did just pass, me and Sugar Goddess have teamed up to bring you guys a giveaway. Oh my gosh, listen, you guys do not know how good this feels to give back to y'all. This has been one of my goals that I've been trying to implement into my channel a lot more often this year and that is giving back to y'all so this came right on time all of the credit of this giveaway goes to sugar goddess because they are sponsoring these treats thank you so much ashley of sugar goddess you are the greatest this is what you guys are gonna win i'm reading off i'm reading off the phone because y'all know i'll be a little uh, uh, tongue tied and i ain't got time for that so you're going to win the ultimate luxury body set wrap your body in the sweet and warm scent of honey vanilla and sugar Bam. This set includes the whipped body butter, the whipped body scrub, and the body oil. I told you guys in the unboxing what those items look like. Those are mine. Okay, those are not yours. Those are mine. I know y'all back there looking like, okay, Courtney, we, we get it. We see what we get, but what are the rules? Come your nerves, pump the brakes. I'm finna get there. To enter, you must be subscribed to my channel on YouTube as well as having your post bell notification button on. You also must be following me as well as Sugar Goddess on Instagram. Next, you are gonna have to screenshot this portion of this video right here. Post it in your story tagging me and Sugar Goddess. In that tag Instagram story post, you also can tag a friend. Now you gotta act fast because the giveaway closes on Saturday. Saturday, February 20th, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I Once the winner is chosen, I will announce it on my community tabs on my YouTube channel. I will also announce it on my stories on Instagram. And if you are following Sugar Goddess, you will also know through her stories as well. I will put all of the rules and specs that you guys need to know for the giveaway down below in the description box. So please make sure to check that out. I will also leave it in a pinned comment in the comment section so you guys cannot miss any details, okay? Once you are done completing all of the giveaway requirements, Come back to this video. Yeah, this one right here that you on right now, ready to click off of and go follow Sugar Goddess. Come back to this one, and under my pinned comment in the comment section where the rules are gonna be, I want you to comment, done. And yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. But until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded, blue!